Good day everyone for this week experiment which is experiment 2 that is single stage compressor we would be presenting about the report in this presentation so the group members will be consist of I myself which is Bavin Raj anak lelaki Sugumaran and my teammates are Muhammad Fazli Subaha and Nur Najiha and our lecturer is Dr. Muhammad Arif Sazali and we are from section SETP 2731 section 02. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Najiha and I will present the abstract of this experiment. Okay, so compressor is a mechanical device used to increase the pressure of compressible fluids or gases from low pressure to high pressure by using some external energy. Compressor is also an open system which operates at steady state. By definition, an open process system has mass crossing its boundary as the process occurs. Compressor increase the pressure of a fluid by supplying work from an external source through a rotating shaft. This is an introductory experiment of single stage compressor that related to energy balance. So the objective of this experiment is to observe on how heat is converted to work. When the power and motor is switched on, the temperature of the outlet is recorded at one minute interval until two consecutive readings are the same. The two consecutive readings are obtained at 28 and 29 minutes, which is 135 degrees Celsius. The graph of outlet temperature T2 against time is plotted to analyze the heating curve and behavior of the single stage compressor. Based on analysis of data obtained and plotted graph, it is found that the outlet temperature of the compressor increased exponentially with time. For the introduction, so a single stage hair compressor works using the strength of a piston and a pressure sensitive valve. It is designed to power a single cylinder that compresses hair with one rotation of the piston. This cylinder is connected to an influence supply that gives the force needed to compress the hair. It differs from double and multiple hair compressor in that it operates with only one cylinder and valve. Single stitch compressor are also known as piston compressor. The process that takes place within a single stitch compressor goes as follows. Hair is sucked into a cylinder. The trapped hair is compressed during a single stroke within a piston at roughly 120 PSI. The compressed gas is moved onward to a tank. In the tank, the compressed gas is energy for the assortment of tools that a single stage compressor is made to accommodate. So for the theory for this experiment, so in a typical single stage wind compressor, as can be seen in figure one, a constant volume of air is closed in between two cylinder vanes powered by an offset rotor. This volume of air is then thrust to the outlet where the area and hence volume is minimized. Therefore, its pressure become greater and it is forced out of the outlet port. So move on to the next slide, which is apparatus. The apparatus that we use in this experiment are number one is air chamber, number two is inlet valve, number three is air flow meter, number four is pressure reader, number five is outlet valve, number six is air chamber, same as number one, number seven is Compressor and last one is Hi Nina Assalamualaikum My name is Bahabin Shawli Today I'm going to present about Meteorology and Conclusion For the Meteorology The first step is The power source of the compressor was switched on 
second step is the green inlet valve was fully open by turning anti-clockwise direction the third step is the initial reading of all parameter given in table 1 are recorded next the motor was turned on the fifth step step is the spring balance was adjusted to ensure the indicator on the motor is in between two black line prior motor force values were recorded next the compressor pressure p2 was set to one bar gauge using the red outlet valve by turning clockwise direction the seventh step is the temperature of the outlet air t2 is recorded at one minute internal until two conservative reading are the same then the tachometer was used to record the motor speed the last step is the experiment will stop when the compressor outlet pressure p2 was reduced to zero bar gauge using the red outlet valve and the inlet valve was closed then the motor and power source was switched off so the result that we get in this experiment are this parameter and initial reading time and temperature t2 and time capacity 2 so i will explain more how we get this data in the next formula so after that we need to plot the graph outlet temperature t2 against time t in minute so the graph basically the graph looks like it will slightly increase and at the end of the graph, the graph will be horizontal. So after that, the formula that we use in this experiment, number one is specific volume through flow meter. Number two is convert the pressure and temperature into kilopascal, absolute and K respectively. We need to convert the Celsius to K, which is Kelvin. So volumetric flow rate equal to V in over 60 times 10 of all 3 into 2 per second. Number 3 is mass flow rate. Number 4 is energy added to air by compressor. Number 5 is power out of motor. And number 6 is heat emitted from the compressor. So the calculation that we get in this experiment is number 1 is volumetric flow rate V equal to V in over 60 times the power 3. So V in equal to 300 liter per minute over 60 times the power 10 or power 3 and we get is 0 0.005 meter cube per second. Number 2 is specific volume through flow meter V naught equal to R P naught over P naught. So R equal to 0 0.287 times 29 plus 27 Remember we need to convert Celsius to V over bracket 1.013 times 100 so we get is 0 0.856 meter cube per c so number 3 is mass flow rate equal to v over v naught so the v the v the, the result that we get is from the previous slide which is 0 0.05 over 0 0.856 so we get 0 0.0058 for 1 kg per second. So number 4 is energy added to air by compressor. So M equal to we get is 0 0.0058 for 1 times 1005 times bracket 55 plus 273 minus 35 plus 273. So T2 we need to convert to Kelvin. So we get is 1 4.37 watt. So the next one is power out of a motor. W equal to N times F times L times 2 pi times 9.81 over 60. So N we get is 1.400 times 3.2 times 0 0.2 times 2 pi times 9.81 over 60 equal to 920.46 volt. So number 6 is, is heat emitted from the compressor QC equal to WM minus HC so WM that we get is 920.46 times M sorry minus 164.37 equal to 756.09 watt after this 
population. So we need to record the, the data in this table. So the content of this table is sorry, <coughs> the content of this table are time t minute, temperature t2, energy added to air by compressor h3 in w, the unit is w. So and the last one is heat emitted from the compressor qc w. So this is the data that we get. And the next one is this. It's the same, but it's a continuous from the previous slide. So after that, we need to plot the graph. So the graph that we get is this energy added to air by compressor HCW against time T minute. So basically, the, the, the graph is slightly increased, same as the graph number one. So and the last one, the, num the last one is graph number three. Heat emitted from the compressor to CW this time T in minute. So, so the graph is slightly decreased and it is different from the graph number one and number two. So that's all for me. I will pass to my friend. Thank you. Okay, next is about discussion. So the first question asks us to discuss on the shape of the graph obtained in section five results which is heating curve and related thermodynamics phenomena. So based on the graph, it clearly shows that outlet temperature T2 of the compressor increased exponentially with time. This is due to the movement of piston from BDC to TDC, causing the air getting compressed as volume decreases and pressure increases. When air is compressed, it becomes increasingly hot because the work done to compress the air is converted to heat energy in the air. From minute 28 to 29, the compression is, compression is taking place at constant temperature. All the heat generated is taken by cylinder wall during the compression, which is called as isothermal compression. This case or process is related to the first law of thermodynamics, which stated that the amount of energy added to a system is equal to the sum of its increase in heat energy and the work done on the system. For the question number two, it asks us to discuss the energy that is being input to the system when the system is heats up. So the energy input to the compressor is converted to heat. The compressor will use the energy and increase the temperature with time. The total work input to the compressor denoted as WM is constant during the experiment, but only certain amount of energy will be added to the RHC while others lost to the surrounding in the form of heat. And lastly, the discuss, uh, discussion about the amount of energy loss as heat compared to the work input to the compressor and the heat added to the air. So the amount of energy loss as heat is lower compared to the work input to the compressor. The amount of energy loss is higher than heat added to the air at the beginning of the experiment, but at minute of 10, the amount of energy loss become lower than the heat added to the air until the end of experiment, which is at minute of 29. Based on this comparison, the energy and heat added to the compressor increases with time as the process goes by. Okay, for the next slide, which is conclusion. The conclusion is... Compressor is a device that will increase the pressure of gas by reducing volume from the external forces. In the compressor, the electrical power will be converted to kinetic energy by increasing the pressure inside the compressor. And this can be done if the gas is compressible. Based on the experiment, we obtain that temperature is directly proportional to the time. As we see, see in the graph, when the time is running, more energy need to be used to pump the air which cause the compressor being heat up. Thus, temperature will be increased. Thus, temperature will be increased. From the result, we can see that the percentage of effectiveness will never reach 100% due to the heat loss.